Hey, Lilla lovers. Hey, Lilla lovers. I don't know if that was already started. It's me, Karen. Um, I'm going to talk to you real quick about the difference between a deep seat and a shallow seat and what that does to the fit of your carrier and what we mean when we're using those terms on the love board. My toddler is trying to go to sleep, so A, we'll see if I can finish this video before she comes out. Um, and B, I'm using my trusty friend, Wilson the teddy bear, who is scary looking because I've had him since I was three. Um, here's the, the deal with Wilson. His legs don't have knee joints, so I want you to pretend that the edges of his paws are actually his knees. So in a shallow seat, his knees are going to be pretty even with his bum, and in a deep seat, his knees are going to be way up here above his bum, and you can just picture his little legs, fuzzy little legs dangling. Okay, stop it, Wilson. Um, so here we go. I'm going to show you four different positions. I'm going to show you with the waist belt low on my hips, a deep seat, and a shallow seat, and I'm going to show you with the waistband high on my waist, a deep seat and a shallow seat and kind of talk to you about why you would want to use any of those. So when we're talking about the seat, we are talking about how low baby's bum is in relationship to the knees and the amount of fabric that's kind of down under baby, between you and baby, under their bum. So with a deep seat, Wilson's knees will be way up here and his bum will be low in a good M shape. That M shape, if he had legs that would form an M, that M shape is especially crucial for probably the first six to eight months of your baby's life as their spines are developing, that core strength is coming through. Especially with the teeny tinies, we wanna make sure that M shape is protected all of the time because we want their spine to be nice and rounded and supported. Once they get a little older, once you have a toddler or a walker, any of those, if their seat starts to look a little bit more like this because they're no longer quite knee to knee in the carrier, which means the fabric of the carrier goes all the way right to where their knees are, um, that's okay because they no longer, they have the core strength, their spines are doing well and developing nicely. It's not as crucial that they be supported there. So let's first look at what Liz Wilson would look like in a shallow seat, which is easier to do with a teddy bear than a deep seat. So pray for me. Hold on. Let me loosen up these straps a little bit because putting on a carrier with super tight straps is hard. It's too hard. I can't do it. We're not even going to talk about the chest clip today. I'm going to do a whole video in a little bit. All about chest clips. Not right now. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so hey there, Wilson. All right. So right now, Wilson is in a very shallow seat. You can see how his bum was kind of hanging even woo, with where the waistband of the carrier is. He's not sinking down very low. There's not a lot of overlap here. And the back of it is very high on his little neck. And that means because the back is high, I have some pretty long straps. So I can tighten my straps up all the way. And I still have a little bit of slack because they're very long. So that's Wilson in a shallow seat with it low. So if you had a baby and you were worried about needing this to be higher on baby's back, or you need the straps to be longer, a good thing to do would be to try having the carrier below and getting a little more of a shallow seat, bouncing that baby, pulling this up. That shallow seat is gonna raise the back of the carrier. It's gonna give you more length than the straps. Now, suppose our straps are a little too long and like this is a little too high and it's bugging baby and it's like on their face or smushing their ear or rubbing against their cheek. What we're gonna try then is getting a deeper seat, which is going to give us tighter straps and bring the top of the carrier down a little bit. So to get a deeper seat with a teddy bear, you need a miracle. Um, to get a deeper seat, you need to weigh something. Try not to do that with your baby and have your strap fall all the way off. So, okay, let's start from here. To get a deep seat with a baby, I like to start with the baby's bum kind of where I want it to be. So for Wilson, that's gonna be overlapped on the waistband of the carrier. There's gonna be more fabric between him and me. This little bum is gonna be sunk way down in there. So then when I pull these up, I'm keeping his bum way down there. Wilson, you're making me crazy. Okay, so you can see a lot of things are very different. You can see his knees are much higher. You can see how there's more overlap here. He's hanging more over the waistband. His bum is much lower. And you can see how that brought the back of the carrier. It used to be up here by his ears, and now it's down under his neck, so it's dropped that quite a bit. I like the feel of this fit better. I like the good seat that he has. You can always use the headrest to extend that a little bit and give him some neck support. 
The other thing it did is bring the shoulder straps further away from the tops of my shoulders, which means I actually don't need to tighten them all the way anymore to get a good fit because now they're a little bit tighter to begin with because his weight has pulled them down. So let's look at the same thing with a higher waist. Hold on, Wilson. Okay, so some people really love to wear their carriers up here. Technically, Lily, like Lily, Lilla, oh, Tracy's gonna kill me. Lilla, Lilla baby, Danka Lilla, Lilla baby is designed to be worn down on the hip, like a lot of uh, soft structured carriers, so a little bit lower where I had it before. But if your preference is to wear up here, it's not impossible, and it's not wrong, and you can still hang out with us on Wednesdays when we wear pink. So, um, let's look at the same thing. Here's my buddy. If he's up high in a shallow seat, a couple of things are gonna happen. He's gonna be way up in my face, all over my business. Seriously, listen. Ugh. Shallow seat means that the back of the carrier is gonna be quite high on him, up in his little cheeks and ears, do anything. It's also gonna mean because I have a high waistband and a shallow seat, I'm gonna have a ton of length in my straps. So this is where you're gonna really run into, gosh, these straps are so freaking long, is if you have a high-waisted carry with a shallow seat, you won't have a baby in your face, you won't have really long straps. Those are the things that's gonna happen. If you like wearing up here though, you don't wanna give that up, you don't wanna move it down. I hear you, I'm with you, and you should be able to get your way. So, what we can do is first of all, Tighten and loosen the straps 700,000 times in one video. It's fun for everyone. Okay. What we can do is start again with baby bear's bum down where we want it to be. Lots of overlap in that seat. Now look at that. The back is much lower. Ugh. So the back is a little too low for my preference now. I don't like having Wilson just totally hanging out there. So I'm going to put this up. That's what it's for the truth. Snap this in place. Do we not love the citrus embossed? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this gear. Okay, deeper seat. With a high waistband and a deep seat, it almost overlaps all the way for me if I get a deep enough seat. And what that's going to do too, again, my straps move down away from my shoulders. They're not as high, which means they're not as loose. And I don't have to tighten them like a maniac. In fact, with my chest clip tight, I'm gonna show you that I can actually do this with my crazy yogi arms. Ready? Whoa. Raise your hand if you're super impressed with me right now. Yeah, I know. I can get a high carry with Wilson the teddy bear with a nice deep seat on the high waistband. So, if you have a little baby but you like wearing high, deeper seat is gonna help you get a tighter fit. So. Basically, when we're adjusting fit, it's important to kind of move all of these things. So you might be like, my straps are too long. And somebody might be like, move your waistband down and do this. And you're like, why? That doesn't make any sense. The straps are the problem. But you can see how everything you do affects the fit of the carrier. So don't give up before you've tried moving that waistband up and down, adjusting the depth of your seat, which is going to move the back panel higher and lower, deeper the seat, lower it'll be, shallower the seat, higher it'll be. And it's also going to give you a lot of play in your straps and let you do a lot of different things. I hope that helps. Stay tuned for a fun video about about 8,000 ways to fashion the chest clip without having to have yoga arms. Gosh, we like you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.